tell me about the Sadowski Fund. What is it and what is its purpose? The Sadowski Fund, um, named after Bill Sadowski, who was one of the prime movers in getting the fund started, is a state housing trust fund meant to address affordable housing issues in the state of Florida. The Sadowski Fund was created in 1992 and it was really a coalition that came together and said we have to address affordable housing. It was real estate professionals, it was the building industry, um, of course the housing advocates said we have to find some way to fund affordable housing in the state. So they agreed at that time to put an extra tax every time real estate is transferred. So when the market is hopping and there is a lot of real estate changing hands, the fund gets more funding in it and we have more to build affordable housing. And typically in a really hot market, that's when you need more funds for affordable housing. It was so successful that the legislature took notice and first started capping the funds because they saw so much money going in. And then they actually started sweeping the funds to balance the budget. So the money goes directly to Tallahassee, even though it's collected here in Palm Beach County, and we have to have it allocated back to us each year. But they got to a point, especially during the recession, where we, the funds were used to balance the budget. And we said, okay, but after the budget is balanced and there's going to be excess revenues, like is projected this year, we need full funding of that Sadowski Housing Trust Fund. Since the sweep started, over two billion statewide has been swept. And I also asked the question, will we even have an affordable housing crisis if we'd had that $2 billion to work with over the past 10 years? Um, just last year alone, we should have gotten over $17 million to be put toward local affordable housing programs. We got less than $2 million. And since the sweep started, we have basically donated $157 million. We have donated more to general revenues than we've received. We received about 95 million um, and 157 million was swept. So our county is the big loser in this housing trust fund suite. The good thing about the trust funds is they come back to our county and are spent according to a local affordable housing plan. So if we get gotten all those funds back, it can be used for things like helping people get into affordable housing. It can be used for aging in place. If we have a senior that needs some upgrades to their home to stay in it, there's so many different ways we can use the funds locally. But basically we could have housed about 1,500 people last year if we had gotten full funding through the variety of our strategies. And it creates economic impact. I mean, there is no downside to the money coming back to our community. One of the frustrating things is when we approach our legislators about housing, they think that it's not an important issue, that people don't care, that maybe those folks that need this housing aren't going to vote. So we have to send a really strong message that we are voting for you, we're the ones electing you, supporting you, so it's really important we pay attention. And we have to get just like some other groups and really get up there, let them know that we are watching, that we are seeing what's happening with this funding and really let them know this is going to count when it comes to election time.